Hi, I'm Ross. And I'm Meg. And, and this, this is Coco. Coco. And, and we're, we're from, from County Wexford, Wexford Ireland. Ireland. And you're, you're watching, watching Trucker Josh, Josh on YouTube. YouTube. Well, Chevy, what do you have to say? What do you have to tell the good people? Say good morning. Say good morning. Say good morning. Good morning, everybody. We're here in Calgary, Alberta. We're about to deliver that freight that got added onto our trailer last minute. Go get that off my trailer. I really don't want it anymore. It's weighing me down. I'm gonna go to Sundra, Alberta after that and pick up a load of lumber that I don't have to tarp. Thank you, God. And we're gonna take that to Fargo, North Dakota which is about 1,700 kilometers, a little over 1,000 miles. So I want to get as far as I can today yet. So we got to quickly go here, get unloaded, rush over there, get reloaded, and book it. Like we ain't never booked it before. All right, let's make our way out of here. And over to our delivery. They said they were going to unload us by 1 o'clock, and it's just before noon right now, and they're just around the corner. I'm gonna show up there at noon, start getting my tarps off. Hopefully around 12.30, they'll be able to start unloading me so I can be out of there by one. And I have to stop somewhere and get fuel on the way yet, because I tried to fuel here yesterday, but their pumps shut down and weren't working right when I got here. And I didn't wanna wait there all evening for their pumps to be turned back on and then lose a good parking spot. So, figured I'd fuel up today instead. So we've just begun untarping here. This is where the glass was. So this is just this big empty gap on the lower flatbed here. Step bed, step deck. Started taking the bungees off the back there already. And yeah, so we're gonna get these tarps off and I'm gonna back up just a little bit out into that open space over there. And we're gonna unload there. I'm just taking my tarps off here, putting back here out of the way where I'm not going to be blocking anything or anybody. <laughs> Better get to work. We got a load, actually, we got two loads waiting for us. If we're late picking up one, they all get delayed. And you see, that's what's underneath there. Same thing in the back. You guys saw this when I was loading it, right? Super flimsy, super sharp. Like every single one of them has super sharp little tin edges like this. Can you see that? That just want to rip through your tarps. All of these pipes here. So it's very fragile, very bendy. That's what I call it, very bendy. And uh, you want to tie it down tight enough so that it doesn't fly off, right? But you also don't want to tie it down too tight as to damage it. Oh, so it's like a balancing act. This kind of freight isn't really a lot of fun. Oh, I'm all dirty and tired again. That's okay. The trailer's empty, the load is complete, they signed the bills, they were happy. Another happy customer. Now we gotta go grab fuel and we gotta rush over to Sundra. Before they close, I want them to throw that lumber on me. Uh, I wanna be on my way. We're gonna cross into the US, into the state of North Dakota from Saskatchewan uh, at Portal. That's the name of the town. North Portal, Saskatchewan and Portal, North Dakota cross through there. I don't know if we're gonna cross through today yet. I highly, highly doubt that because uh, I'll have to wait till tomorrow to get my border clearance done. I could do it myself, but uh, the office likes to take care of that stuff. So. Whatever. I won't be there tonight anyway. By the time we get going, it'll probably be like five o'clock. And I'll be driving till uh, probably around midnight. Got a little ways to go. Looks like we finished unloading just in time. Getting a bit of a rain cloud pass over us here. Should be gone pretty soon. Ooh, that was a very pink light, my friend. Very pink. So yeah, here's Flying J just off to our left. Grab some fuel and head up to Sundra. So it's 2.30 now. By the time I get out of here, it'll be like 2.45 or so, 3.45. Oh boy, we're gonna be there after four o'clock. I hope that they load later than that. Otherwise, we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow morning to get loaded. I mean, that'll work still, but hey, not as good. Let's 
going to be kind of a waste of an afternoon if i got to wait till tomorrow morning. Continue 200 meters. Then turn left on 116 Avenue Southeast. We're exactly 150 kilometers away from Sundra. I would like to be a lot closer than that already. Unfortunately, we can't go much further without some of this stuff. Some go-go juice. Hopefully their pumps are working today. I'm parked in Olds, Alberta right now, uh, on the street behind another truck where there's no no parking signs. So this is where we're going to be spending the night. I'm going to go into that grocery store over there called No Frills. Won't be beat is their slogan. Well then, Mr. No Frills or Mrs. No Frills or whatever you are, you say you won't be beat. I put you to the challenge. I'm going to go there and see how their prices are. Now, I get paid in two days, and uh, I've got exactly $48 to last me for food until then in the budget. So $48, two days. Should be all right. Pretty much all I'll buy is probably bread. Uh, I need some peanut butter. I'll get some sandwich meat. I've already got Miracle Whip in here. Miracle Whip. And uh, I think that's all I really need. I can just survive off sand. Oh, and uh, breakfast... Uh, what do you call those things? Breakfast smoothies? Not breakfast smoothies. Breakfast, uh, whatever. Some breakfast stuff. Just for me to... I usually don't have big breakfasts. Not usually. So I'll just get some yogurt or something for granola bars for breakfast. Sandwiches for the rest of the day. And that should easily... Like $48. If I can't make it two days on $48, there's something wrong with my eating. Maybe that's why I got this. Maybe to lose this, i got to spend a little less money. Chevy, you want to go outside before I go in there? Would you like to go outside? You're not very convincing. You gotta convince me. You wanna go outside? Come here. Come here. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Come here. Oh, good boy. Yeah, okay, I'll take you outside. I'll take you outside. You convinced me now. You convinced me. Good boy. You wanna go? Should we go right now or should we go later? Should we go right now? Right now? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take him outside and then go in there. Actually, look at this. I actually have uh, I have $48 Canadian, and I have two whole American dollars. Woo! Could almost buy me a yacht with these things, you know, with the exchange rate. Almost. All right. Let's get in there, because I want to get back in here, set up my little office cubicle, and then start working on some videos for you guys, because... Uh, my life never slows down. I just gotta keep going, going, going. And it's not Sunday, so we gotta work. There's a fly in here. I'm gonna have to catch. Oh, you're right here. No, I didn't get him. I'm not fast enough. Gotta work on my, my speed. Okay. Let's put on our Crocs. <laughs> yes, I wear Crocs. My wife hates it. She's probably sitting there all beat red right now that I told you that. Yes, I wear Crocs because they're super easy to slip on and slip off. They're my trucking shoes. What? Super. Look. Look. See, they're waterproof. They're light. I've used these for two years already. 
They've lasted longer than some of my work shoes. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. I'm gonna run in there. Yep. A lot of hurry up and waiting going on this trip. So uh, I have been hurrying all day as soon as they unloaded me. They only wanted to unload me at noon. So I got there at noon and I've been just busting my butt. Going as fast as I can. Trying to get to my uh, pickup in Sundra before, you know, end of business hours, 4, 4.30 or so. So I give them a call when I'm on the way. I'd be like, all right, I should be there around four o'clock. Like, are you guys still there? Like, I thought maybe they might be leaving at four and I would understand that. But the guy's like, no, uh, we, le we left at 2.30. 2.30? <laughs> you get to go home at 2.30? That must be nice. I get to go home next week. But anyway, so they, they leave at 2.30. So, uh... We're waiting around till tomorrow morning. He gets there around 6 a.m. Uh, I'll probably get there shortly after, something like that, but <laughs> it's fine, whatever. I just get a lot of sitting to do. I'm actually uh, using this time to catch up on all my computer work and stuff, and I had like four videos I had to edit, and I just got one more to do, and then I'll be completely caught up with that, and I'll go to bed early, get a really good night's sleep, wake up tomorrow morning, refresh, renewed, go pick up my load, and book it towards Fargo. About a thousand miles. We'll get as far as we can. I'm, I'm sure we'll get into the U.S. tomorrow. Probably, probably pretty close anyways. Hopefully there's no more delays. This trip has been all about delays. Yikes. But anyway... It's part of the job. I still love my job. I love what I do. Like, I'm in Olds, Alberta right now. I just went shopping. I showed you that already. I'm shopping over there and sitting over here enjoying the day. Went for a little bit of a walk and... You know, I do love my job. I get to see so many places. What other reason would I have to come to Olds, Alberta? Like, no offense to you guys in Olds, Alberta. This is a beautiful town. That's not what I mean. I don't mean like there's no, no reason to come to Olds, Alberta. But really what would bring me here other than work i don't know anybody here i don't know anybody around here i have an uncle who lives in wetaskiwin that i don't see very often at all but uh it's towns like this that i probably would have never seen in my entire life had i not been a truck driver and that's the that to me is my favorite part of the job i don't really care about the freight i'm pulling like yeah that's fun too but it's not the most fun the most fun is seeing these places that i know i would have never seen otherwise But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the short little video we had today. Didn't have much to talk about. Tomorrow will be a long day of driving. And like I've been telling you, we're just picking up some lumber and uh, don't have to tarp it. It's gonna be super easy. You just toss a few straps over it and you're done. By the time I get there, it should be less than an hour and we'll be on the way. So I hope you tune in tomorrow if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button. If you want to be in the intro that you see in front of all my vlogs now, you can film it on your phone or whatever. Email it to me at TJV, like Trucker Josh Vlogs, TJV at email.com, not Gmail, email.com. And I'll include it in an upcoming vlog and I'll probably rotate them in the future so you'll probably see yourself more than once. Just don't forget that if you send me a video, you are giving me permission to use it in a monetized video. And if there's minors, I'd just appreciate it if you'd give me some uh, parental consent in the email, just saying, hey, it's cool. Makes me feel a little, little better. Because <laughs> I'm gonna use them more than once. And uh, if you make a video that's a little bit too big to send through email, because I know that there's only a certain amount of uh, space you can use in an email or you can only send a certain size of file. If it's too big, if you have Dropbox, download it onto your Dropbox, get the link, and send the link to my email. I have Dropbox, then I'll be able to go to the link and download it, and we can do it then. Keep it under, eh, keep it somewhere like between 15 to 30 seconds or so. Be good. Make it your own, be creative. I love, I love including them in the vlogs. And usually at the end of the vlog here, I include the intro that's gonna be at the beginning of the vlog in the next vlog. So you get, actually, you get in there twice. 
first you'll see yourself at the end of the video and then the next day you'll see yourself at the beginning of the video take care everybody i'll see you tomorrow hey this is john from the trucker john show and this is bailey when we're not driving our big truck we're hanging out with trucker josh at tjv